What's up guys, in this video I'm going to go through how you can buy your first um, your first parcel of land in Decentraland.com or .org, sorry. Um, you know, how to buy mana, how to buy your first Decentraland property if you're a complete new investor and you don't usually keep your um, cryptocurrency in wallets outside of exchanges, then um, this all this might be kind of new to you, but I'll, I'll try my best to explain it without going too much into the detail because then I'll just bore everyone. So basically, most people what they do is they've got their um ex they've got their coins on exchanges. Um, the coin that you need to be able to buy and sell land or try or buy and sell assets in Decentraland is the Mana coin, and just like any other coin, it can be purchased on the major exchanges. We've already been listed on all the big ones, so Binance, um, Huobi. Uh, Bitrex, we are even, I'm pretty sure we're on Bitfinex as well, I don't know why it's not appearing here, we're on KuCoin, we're on like, you know, the mainstream exchanges, like if you want to buy mana, you have a lot of options, so what you'll need to do is if you're interested in a particular set of land, for example, if you go into Decentraland Marketplace, there's all these, la these are all the lands set for sale, say for example you want to buy this one for 6100 mana then what you do is you would purchase that amount of mana in your um, on your exchange so you, you'll purchase it with bitcoin or whatever coins you ethereum whatever coins you have on the exchange you have that much uh, amount of mana and then you transfer that much amount of mana to your um your offline off onto your wallet right now, your the wallet that we use, that the most people use in Decentraland is this one here, which is a bit of a which is a Chrome browser. Um, it's called MetaMask, right? Now, MetaMask is a Chrome browser wallet um, that you're going to probably be using if you're going to be buying more kind of digital assets in different um, decentralized apps. You know, whether it be Ethereum on or um, what is it called Etherbots, I think it is. Uh, whatever they are, um, whenever these new games and stuff come up, most of them will require a MetaMask. So when you log into that, you'll be able to buy and sell stuff. So basically, go to google.com, search MetaMask um, Chrome browser, and you'll come across this over here. And uh, this is what you download. It's an Ethereum-based wallet, so it'll accept any ERC token. So, um, you know, just any anything built on the Ethereum network. Those are the coins that you can store onto this wallet. This wallet will not be able to store NEO or anything else that is not built on Ethereum. So anything like um, you know Ethereum Classic, Ethereum itself, um, a lot of the new ICOs that are built on the Ethereum blockchain can be stored here. So once you download that wallet and you've purchased your coins in Binance, you'll need to transfer your coins on the exchange into this wallet, all right? And the way you do that is, um, you, you you make your account um, you make a you create a new wallet make sure you you download and you save the passphrase on the wallet um, you know that's the most important thing that's probably even more important than the currency amount or whatever stored in the wallet because if you lose your passphrase no one can recover that for you only and, and you're gonna lose everything all your money everything so you need to save that um, you know create your wallet store the passphrase before you put anything into this wallet make sure you can log out you can even delete the chrome browser reinstall it and try and log back in because you know you can you can install your chrome the, this metamask in any chrome browser on any laptop device even like your sisters or your mums and then you can um, log into your wallet and it should it it will have all your coins stored in that wallet okay so you know you can log out and log back in and make sure you know how to get back in before you transfer any money into this um, once you're all good you've stored your passphrase you're all good with this wallet you've created a new one now you've got your own um, contract address all right so if you copy address to clipboard that's the address that you can send your mana tokens to um, and that's what you should do so once you send your mana tokens to that you'll have to add the mana token itself to appear onto your in your wallet um, if you transfer mana to this and you don't see it here that's because you probably haven't added the token itself and the way you add the token is um, you can find it on etherscan.io 
and you'll have to add this contact address so for example click over here where are we sorry click this we go add token once you paste the token address then it'll automatically you know fill in all these you click add and then it'll add it add the token to your address make sure you do that as we have to cover so you have downloaded your metamask you've transferred money to it you've added the contract address and again you'll probably have to do you you will have to do the same thing with land um, land is a token itself so when you add when you if you own 10 pieces of land then this land value will be 10 um, so you'll have to add the land uh, contract address as well which you can find on either scan just type in land and uh, it should be there for you once you do the same thing here then again if you once you store your mana and buy a few lands it'll all appear in your wallet and it'll all appear in your marketplace so you'll be able to click my land and that should show all the land you have mine says zero because I've sold all my land in this wallet I have some land stored in another wallet but if you click my land you'll see a you know a portfolio of all the stuff that you own Anyway, um, so yeah, you've once you've got the tokens into your wallet, you basically just need to go to market.decentraland.org slash marketplace and then you'll be able to buy and sell any land you want. So you can just click this, you click on buy, um, confirm, for example, say we want this one. And what it'll do, it'll pop up this contract that you are now submitting to, um, you know, through MetaMask. And this is a contract kind of stipulating that yeah you want to buy that parcel of land and you want to do the transfer so this is why everything is decentralized land because this contract can take place without any intermediary body because both parties agree so when you submit that um, it's going to cost you a bit of ethereum so when you're submitting a contract on the ethereum network it costs you a bit of ethereum uh, like kind of like a transaction fee to be able to submit that contract right um so any time you're buying or selling a land or transferring out of your MetaMask, it'll it'll cost you a bit of a fee, but it's nothing major. Like each contract, I think the most I've ever spent is like a dollar twenty. Um, so that's when I've been listing a really high value land. But most contract addresses like this, small the small things, it'll cost you like a you know, ten to fifteen cents. Sometimes maybe thirty cents. When you click submit, that means that you would have submitted the contract, and now you just got to wait five to ten minutes, and then the land should appear on your um. In your wallet okay uh, if you're having any issues with this you can just log into the discord chat for Decentraland you can find that if you go to the home page or the the main page of Decentraland and um, yeah uh, you could people would will uh, be able to answer your questions if you have any issues in, in doing that but another thing you'll have to do before you actually buy a land is enable Decentraland to um, execute these contracts um, on your behalf so you'll have to check this and check this authorization when you check it again you'll have to submit a contract and it'll cost you a bit of money I think it's like five cents or something it's two cents right so it's it's literally not much at all make sure you have ethereum in your metamask wallet as well so once you transfer your mana currency into your metamask also transfer you know ten dollars worth of ethereum maybe 0 0.02 ethereum or something so that you can execute these contracts because if you don't have ethereum in your metamask wallet then you won't be able to submit these contracts because you don't have anything in them right um yeah that's pretty much it um you should be able to buy and sell pretty easily after that it might take you a few tries to get it right but the most important thing another thing that i didn't mention i'll mention it now is when you're transferring your mana to your um wallet address maybe do a test first so if you you know if you're buying a parcel for 7000 mana and you want to transfer the whole 7000 maybe just do a test and just send 100 mana make sure you you receive it in your metamask and everything's all good before you send the rest it might cost you I don't know, a couple of dollars more but at the end of the day it's worth it instead of losing your whole amount of mana because you've sent it to the wrong place so i always do a test run first before i do the whole thing um make sure you're sending it to the you know your own wallet address which is the thing that I showed you before you just copy to clipboard and when you paste it that's your wallet address that's the same address you can send your ethereum tokens you can send your mana tokens and any other ethereum based tokens make sure whatever you're transferring to there is built on the ethereum network if you send something like neo um, or anything else that's not built on a metaverse ETP then it's not gonna pick it up and you're probably gonna lose that currency so yeah that's it um, hope you guys get into the trading game